So today's lesson and today's sheet is entitled Basic Beats in Various Styles. And what that means is that we're pretty much what it says, it means that we're gonna be doing basic grooves in a whole lot of different styles. Now let's move on to the next one. Now this is the pop groove. So this is called the pop beat and it's called that because it's used in so many pop songs. So without the snare drum, what it actually is is just kick, hi-hat, kick, hi-hat over and over and over again. But what we want to do is we want to add the snare drum on every second kick drum. So now that we've got that one down, we can start to do the stylistic thing again. So I told you I'd say it a bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna add open hi-hats and add in snares in the middle. Just like we did with the disco groove, our feet are gonna be lifting at the same time. Snare drums in the middle are a little bit harder, but just work through them slowly and you'll find that they sound really, really cool. Once you've got it comfortable, you can start to add in the two snare drums in the middle, which sound like this. Now we're on to the jazz one. And like I said, don't run away, it's all good. This is gonna teach you coordination and dynamics. To be honest with you, jazz is one of my favorite styles to play. It's so much fun, so improvisational, and it really gets your chops up. So for now, I'm just gonna teach you the basic stuff. Jazz is like an art in itself, and it takes years and years and years to master it. So we're just gonna to stick to the basics for now. So the thing that's really different about this compared to what we've just done is that it's in a, like a swing feel. So it's got triplets in it. That's what all those threes are about. If you've got the sheet music, you should have the sheet music. What I try to get people to do when they first learn this is you really need to get that right hand down on the ride cymbal. If you want to count it, it'll be one, two, a three, four, a one. Like I said with jazz, we've got a lot of coordination stuff here. So we want to start layering things now. So we've got our ride cymbal pattern. Now let's have a look at what the feet are doing. They've just got a pretty simple ostinato going underneath, which is just kick drum, hi-hat, kick drum, hi-hat, over and over again. Now we can look at what the hands are doing just by themselves. And you just see that the snare drum is just rocking in on two and four. I shouldn't say rocking in, jazzing in on two and four. Right, so we've got all these parts kind of separately and it's important for us to now put them together. After you've got it, obviously we want to speed it up a little bit more. So there you have it, there's the jazz thing and it wasn't that painful. So now we're onto the Latin groove. Now the Latin groove is kind of similar to the jazz where we've got these layers happening. To make this easy as possible, I haven't given you some weird ass ride cymbal Latin groove, which you really do hear quite often in Latin, and it's one of the coolest parts about it. I'm just trying to keep it simple and basic for everyone. So we've only got eighth notes on the ride cymbal rather than a broken up Latin style ride cymbal pattern. You'll notice that we have the same ostinato with the feet as we did in the jazz one. So when we put those two things together, it's not really that difficult. It's the left hand that becomes a bit of a pain. So the first hit with the left hand is actually a cross stick, and that's when you lay your stick across the snare and you hit on the rim. And then in the second half of this, we just go up to the high tom. You can also do it on the floor tom too, but we'll just stick to the high tom for now. A couple of ways to go about this. You might want to get your right hand and your feet going and then try to add in the left hand, or you can try another way, which is both hands and try add in the feet.
The other way which could work for you, and everyone's different, is to just do it slowly, do it half a bar at a time. Now we're on to some funk, and you could also call this sort of R&B. 